Good morning guys, welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be pre-wiring the 6 for an amp. Um, I know y'all can't see nothing. Well, you can kind of see the 300 headlights, but the 6 is already in the shop because uh, we're putting a radio in it. Uh, the replacement radio should be in tomorrow. So I put it in the shop tonight. Um, but I'm actually about to go drive it, so it's coming back out of the shop. But regardless, we have our wiring kit in. Let's run in here, we'll take a look at it, and uh, we'll see what we got. Also guys, I wanted to mention, we just finished today's video, and well, there's parts everywhere. <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and mention, if y'all got any value out of today's video, you found it helpful, whatever it may be, or you just want to subscribe, please get on there, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 4,000 before the end of the year. So again, it would be much appreciated if y'all would subscribe if you haven't already. But anyway, let's get back to the video. All right, so here we have our amp wiring kit. Now I've had this for a little while. Uh, it's been sitting in here on the shelf. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get it opened up. Uh, take a look at what we got before we start installing this. Um, because like I said, it's going to be better to go ahead and kind of pre-install everything um, before my radio gets back. That way we don't have to take the whole dash and everything back up again to uh, install this. Alright, so we have here our amp wiring kit. Uh, this is a SCAR kit for uh, 1500 watts? 1200 watts. Um, I believe my amp's a thousand, so we should be fine with this. Um, but anyway, we have our RCAs, our trigger wire. Um, there's also some speaker wire in here, I believe. Yeah. But regardless, we have that and we have our fuse. So uh, the fuse on this is, well, it's large for one, but two is pretty nice. So on this truck and this kind of went into where I'm gonna put the amp. Um, but obviously, diesel, two batteries. Uh -huh. So what I was looking at, ooh, and that is hot. Probably shouldn't have drove the truck before pulling it in here, because that is hot. Anyway, we have over here, we have a lot going on with this battery. Um, we have the this is, I believe, light bar. We have the fast stuff, uh, rock lights, you know. We have a few things going on over here, and uh, the computer's also over here and some other stuff. But over here, we have lots of room um, for stuff. The only thing over here is for the halos and the projector kit. So that's... Uh, like I said, that's it for over here. And we can mount our fuse nicely back in here. Um, or it's kind of out of the way, but you can still get to it. Um, we might mount it back there. So that was uh, something to think about. And something to think about if you're doing this as well is where you want to put your amp. Um, and then we'll probably mount it behind the seat over there. There's nothing over there. I believe that's where the uh, spare tire stuff is supposed to go, but not in this truck, because this truck don't have it apparently. Um, so, I'm do this one again. so the only thing over here is uh, my light motor for the Starlight headliner. And this is not mounted. Uh, put some Velcro on the back of this box and it's stuck to the carpet. So I can move that if need be. The only other thing in here is some gloves. But uh, like I said, I can move that if need be. Uh, that's not a big deal. So I think what we might do is go ahead and put the amp down here. And it might, let me take these out. It might lay down in here. Um, on this flat section behind the seat. So if it'll do that, that'll be real nice. It'll be tucked out of the way. We can still put stuff here if need be. And uh, again, that'll be 
that'll be real nice. So I think that piece of starlight, fiber optics for the starlight. Um, but I think that's the plan. And then I don't have to disturb this. And the reason this is at a different angle is because I don't want to pinch it. Um, and then this is for the the wiring. But regardless, that is that and uh, whatnot. So I think that's the plan. Let's try to mount the amp back here under, um, kind of laying down under the seat. So anyway, that's that. Um, I have an amp. It's in the house. We're not going to mess with that today. Or we'll probably even run the wiring today. We'll probably do that uh, a couple weeks or so because there's really no point doing it today. Um, so we're just going to be running the wiring first. Uh, but regardless, actually, I'm going to open these back up. Get some air in here because it is starting to get hot. But either way, um, we're going to go ahead and run that stuff in this video, just not today. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started running the RCAs and the trigger for the amp uh, while the radio is out. Uh, because like I said, I want to run everything that needs to be run in the dash. That way we don't have to take this back out. Um, another thing we're going to be doing today is running wiring for a front camera. So this thing will have a front camera and a rear camera. That'll be nice. And then it'll be ready for this when I have a box. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to go ahead, untie all of this and uh, get started running everything. All right. So uh, for one thing, sorry for the... I guess lack of lighting. Um, I didn't want to turn these on because light sensitive eyes and I already got a headache today. But regardless, we got our RCAs and our trigger wire ran um, through the dash here. So I was going to show you all this, um, and I figured this would be prime opportunity to do so. Uh, so what I did is I run these through here you can run them through here you can see um that's open right there and i know it's going to be hard to see but you can come through here there's the metal brace and you can actually reach up in here and let's see if i can do this again where you can see my fingers so you can see my finger right there so what i did is that is actually big enough to run both the RCA ends down through here. You'll have to catch it from the back side or it'll just want to run down the dash and then run everything through. Uh, when you're doing that, this is, if you can hear that, kind of sharp. So uh, what I did was kind of pulled everything over and then used my other hand to keep it off of this. That way it didn't chafe any of the wiring. Um, so that is that. Now what we can do, and I went ahead and pulled this loom off so I could show you all this as well. Uh, the RCAs, I'm not gonna worry about it, but the trigger wire, I am gonna run in the same loom. But this is my wiring for the power for the Starlight Headliner. It runs over to here to this switch, as you can see there. Um, and it's powered in the fuse box and it's fused and all that kind of thing. Um, but what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to run this RCA or the trigger wire with that. I'm going to put them both in the same loom. That way they're out of the way. They're good. Um, the RCAs, I'm not going to worry about it because they're pretty nice wires anyway. And there's really not too much that is going to hurt them. Um, I just want it to look nice and presentable. Not that anybody will ever have the glove box out of my own truck. Um, <laughs> but you know it'll be there for me anyway so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead and run that uh down and over and i'm not going to pull um the tread plate or the kick panel today what i'm going to do is i'm going to just kind of tie everything up set it in the glove box here that way 
it'll um, it'll be out of the way. But it is now ran. And then here in a moment, when we go ahead and put the radio in, uh, I still have to run everything for the front camera, which will be a different video for y'all. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. I also need to check my adapter. So there's an adapter in here. I'll have to find it um, for my steering wheel controls. I need to look at it and make sure it's good because they quit working like two weeks after I put the radio in. So I'm going to check that. Um, and we'll see what it looks like, but after that, I will, uh, we'll go ahead and connect these. Typically speaking, I think it's been this way on everything I've messed with, uh, up to this point, the trigger for, I don't know who that is, but anyway, the trigger for the amp is always a blue wire, so, um, this one's labeled, so, you know, that's nice, but typically it's a blue wire. Now don't, you know, trust, but verify. So, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, run the wiring for this other stuff. And then we'll go ahead, make our connections and slap the radio back in. So I'm not gonna do it right. What are they doing? These folks backing up in our yard and all type of stuff. But anyway, I'll go see what's their deal. But like I said, shouldn't be too bad. And then uh, I guess next time I pick the camera up, I'll show you all that. And then in a little bit, a few days or something like that, we'll go ahead and run the rest of this out. Or maybe even today if we have time, we will see. But I also need to run my power wire. And I'm not running the power wire like everybody else does through that gap. Um, the buddy at the time that helped me run the wiring on the white truck did that and I, I hated it. We're not doing that again. Um, so I will have to find somewhere that I can run it through on the firewall or make a hole in the firewall, get a grommet and run it through. Um, but we'll figure that out. So anyway, I'm going to go see what's the deal with these people that are parked in our yard and now they're leaving since I stuck my head out and looked at them. <laughs> I, I don't know. Anyway, I guess, uh, like I said, we're going to get after it here, and we're going to see what all we can get done before it gets too hot today. Uh, but from here, we will pull. Oh, now they're pulling in the driveway. Anyway, we'll pull this. We'll pull the kick panel. Um, we will also pull the tread plate here in the rear, and uh, we'll run everything through. I'm going to try not to pull the C-pillar trim panel because it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, they always are, if you were curious. But I'm going to see if I can run it, a uh, wire or something through there to not have to pull this piece off. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to get going here. I'm going to see what these people are doing. And um, like I said... I will show you all the connections on the back of the radio and then here in a few days or maybe even this afternoon we'll go ahead and run the rest of this and get that all taken care of okay guys so we got the radio in now i was going to show you all this but uh don't have enough really enough wire but we didn't get the rcas plugged in it does have a sub one sub two so i figured that's where that's supposed to be uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and make sure, but um, I want to get the radio in, plug it up. I'm going to test the trigger wire. I got a test line over there. I'm going to test it, make sure it is good because um, it is connected back there. So anyway, like I said, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get everything plugged in. I'm going to double check everything, make sure everything's good before I put it back in. Um, and then here in a minute, we'll turn the truck on and uh, see what we got. Okay, guys. So it is, well, it's a few weeks later, um, maybe a month later, something like that. Uh, actually, over a month later. Um, <laughs> regardless, we picked up a box the other day. So uh, we are continuing. Now, 
If y'all remember, I run the RCAs and the trigger wire into the glove box. Uh, I took the glove box down, uh, run those along this channel in here, um, down back behind this stuff here. And uh, I got some little zip ties. We're gonna tie these together, make them look all nice too. Uh, but regardless, that'll run like so. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, we'll run those down. We'll run them through this channel here. And again, this will be all zip tied up. I'm leaving a little bit of excess just in case. Um, just in case we need to. Now, seats all the way forward. Uh, we've already got this all torn apart, but um, we're not doing that in this video. But also took this piece off. To take this piece off, you have... For your seat belt, you have a 15 mil, I believe it was. That's not it. Uh, anyway, I believe it's a 15 mil. It's up there. Uh, for the seat belt nut, take it off. Uh, take the seat belt little deal off. And then this is just on clips, and it comes right off. Um, they're a bit stout. They are pretty stout. But it gives you a straight shot through here. You don't have to guess with it or uh, anything like that. So that's a straight shot through there. Pop your kick panels off or your seal plates in your kick panel. Uh, pop that off. Popped these off as well. Um, now, before we go back, to, back there, uh, our power wire. So my grandpa has been working on running the power wire down and uh, it's in this general vicinity here. Um, well, you can actually see it if you look through there right there so um we just kind of pull it through the fender well just to make sure that our grommet here will fit so i've seen a lot of people um and we actually did this on the white truck because a buddy of mine was helping me and he was one of them 55 mile an hour down the road you'll never see it kind of people and uh, we run it just through here uh down and under this uh we're not doing that we have since fixed that on the white truck and uh, we're not doing that no more. Uh, so on the white truck, what I used uh, for making these holes is these grommets. So if you need a number, I got these at AutoZone. They come two in here, um, and this is what they look like. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna drill a hole in the floor. Uh, and that's another reason why I'm leaving these loose for right now. Um, but right here in the floor, this is pretty flat right here. Um, and we need to clean this out, obviously. But we're going to drill a hole either there or here. Uh, this is a little more flat. So we might do it here or we might do it here or possibly even up here a little further. Um, you know, maybe here or so. And uh, we're going to run that up through the floor the reason i kind of like it up here is that's a little more protected from the tire but we'll figure that out so what we'll do is we'll drill a hole and it probably says what hole what size hole to drill uh actually it doesn't <laughs> but regardless we'll figure out what size hole we need to drill that way this is a nice tight fit in there and then this is just a little bit bigger than our wire, so we can take and uh, run some sealer in here, and we should be good to go with that. Um, so I just thought I would show you all of that. And once we're done with this, we'll, uh, we'll show you all what we're looking like. Now, back here, same thing. Um, and the reason I popped these off was because these cover the edges of this. So instead of worrying about tearing one, or fighting it. I just popped it off and got it out of the way. Um, and then pop this seal plate off as well. Pop that off, throw that to the side, and I'm probably gonna have to pop this one off as well. Um, I might not have to. We might can take something and uh, sneak through here, back, you know, back here where my finger is. And uh, run it out there since we don't have the carpeted piece on. If y'all remember, we did the same thing here. We had to notch out for 
the Starlight. Also, I'm going to have to figure out another way to mount my Starlight box because if y'all remember, I had Velcro on this and it was Velcroed to the carpeted piece. Um, so we'll have to figure out something to do with that for the time being. Now, I believe what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the box in here real quick, see what kind of room we have. Cause I don't know if I wanna do the amp. I don't really wanna do the amp on the back wall. Um, I kinda wanna do it laying down and maybe pull the carpet and see if we can unbolt these out of here because we don't have the spare tire tools for this truck. Like a lot of six O's around here. Um, so if we can take those out, we can put, if we can put the amp here, that would be great uh, because we can put our shelf back in and it'll be out of the way. So I think that's what we're gonna try to do. So I'm gonna grab our box. We'll throw it in here real quick and uh, see where that lands us with everything and uh, what kind of room we have to work with. All right, so uh, we've, uh, we're finished for the night. Um, and like I said, I have a friend who's gonna be coming over uh, or is planning to, and uh, we're gonna do the subs and stuff and mount that box. Um, now, we gotta wait to mount the box or to mess with the amp till we mount the box because uh, I want to see about wire links and everything. Uh, but regardless, we got this drilled, as you can see there. All right, grind it in, and I'm going to put some sealant around that. That's why I haven't put the kick plate back on. But got our wires run through, and we did pop both the front and rear pillar off and uh, run everything real nice, real clean through there as uh you know as you do uh, or as i like to do because i like my stuff to be nice and look nice um but like i said i'm gonna put a little dab of sealer on that here in just a moment um then if we come back here same thing uh again we did pop both of these off um so this is run through real nice zip tied up all clean that is for the starlight um, I didn't really want to run two wires all the way forward, but anyway, I got this run out to the very back of, uh, this panel. And, uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to pull the box back out. That's why these are just laying here, but we're going to pull the box back out. We're going to run these under the carpet, um, kind of through here. So they'll come under the box down through here we're gonna make a little hole like right here in the carpet and uh, run the wires out the carpet and then we're hoping to put the amp here uh i had mentioned wanting to put it here uh that is not gonna work because we don't have much room uh but we can put my starlight motor right here that shouldn't be a problem um so anyway that is that um and we're hoping i need to the seats in the bed so i need to measure make sure that the amp will fit between the seat brackets um i hope it will <laughs> but i'm not exactly sure that amp for only being a 1200 watt amp is kind of large um which is kind of interesting but like i said it's just a it's, i bought it for the white truck uh to see if it would fit or not fit but if it would work better than the amp that's in the truck to see if it was the radio that was messing up or the amp, and I never did. So uh, it's been repurposed for the 6 and then at some point I'll get another amp for this, but, um, and then that'll go back in the white truck. But anyway, like I said, this is gonna run back, back there, over, under the carpet, under the box, and then come out around here. And uh, that is if the amp will fit here, like I'm hoping it will. Um, also, if at all possible, I want to retain the shelf. The shelf is useless, completely and utterly useless, but uh, without the shelf, it leaves that hole in my carpet, which is very visible and very annoying. So um, if we can retain the shelf, that would be great. And I'm almost thinking, if nothing else, we can cut it. Ooh, it's under all that crap but i think we can cut part of it 
the passenger side portion maybe cut it and make it work i don't know we'll see uh, but i do need to measure this seat um, and make sure this will fit this amp will fit between the brackets but i'm not going to mess with it tonight because well it's been a day and this needs to be off of my carpeted piece <laughs> i'll put it there like so um also, the carpeted piece, I don't know if I mentioned. I'm going to get, I'm not going to cut that one up. Uh, I want to get another one in case it doesn't work. And uh, cut and make it conform to the box. I think that would be nice. And then we can use our Velcro trick with the motor again. I think that's the easiest thing to do. Um, and then for the ground, we're going to ground it to one of the seat bolts again, I believe. Uh, that's what we did on the white truck it worked we're not pushing a ton of power so it's not like it needs a frame ground uh, but if it doesn't work then we'll cut a hole in the floor and run it through find a hole in the frame clean it up and we'll do that but regardless while i was working on that my grandpa got the fuse mounted um and this y'all probably already seen that video i don't know but let me show y'all what we did here. So in the SCAR kit, they come with a nice fuse block, which we mounted over here. It's nice, it's tucked out of the way, you know, whatever. Um, then we have our cable that runs down and we'll connect right here, right on top of that guy. And this is it here. We went ahead, put some heat shrink on it, made it look nice. Um, now, <laughs> these do come with little wire boots. You can see them there. Um, I guess my grandpa completely forgot about them. And I uh, went ahead and put heat shrink on them, but it's fine. This looks good. It's nice and clean, and uh, it works. So, anyway, that is that. Um, and it looks good. It's nice and clean, like I said. And then it comes off the other side, runs back. And then down uh, behind everything, nice and clean. So you can see no wires, which was the goal. And then like I said, it comes out under here, up and then back through. So very nice, very nice. Um, now what we have left is again, the ground. Uh, the ground wire is not very long. So you gotta kinda make do with that and the speaker wire. So this, I need to do two things with. We have to wire inside the box uh, for the terminals. So we will run two wires, one from this one to the bot or to the sub and uh, one over again and then I'm going to length specific cut from our amp, wherever we mount it, to the box. That way it's nice and clean and uh, where we want it to be. So anyway, guys, I think that is going to be our app for this one. Uh, as I have mentioned, I have not eaten today again. <laughs> and uh, it's getting kind of late. So I got two videos to edit. Um, I ordered our IPR screen earlier. It's on the way. Should be here like mid next week. Today's Monday. Um, so that is that. But we got the fuse in, uh, here. So the fuse is actually in it. That's why we haven't connected it. Um, so this guy will hang out right here until we get ready. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap for this one. So with that being said, if y'all enjoyed today's video, or find it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.